Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, I want to just got some numbers in, some really, really good numbers I wanted to share with you. Um, most of you have heard that Las Vegas is underwater, Nevada is underwater as far as values of homes. So I have specific numbers to share with you. Um, these just came in hot off the press. Okay, so in the state of Nevada, there are um, 600,000, roughly 600,000 mortgage loans, meaning if you took all the properties and anyone who's got a loan, whether it's they're just paying it off tomorrow, they'll be their last payment, or they just got it today, okay? There are 600,000 of those. Now, the total number of loans that are upside down of those 600,000 is um, 400,000. So that means that 400,000 of the 600,000 dollar or the 400,000 of the 600,000 mortgage holders are upside down. The actual percentage, those are I'm rounding those a little bit. It's actually 591 to 403. It's 68.1%. 68.1% of people are upside down. So you say, "Okay, that's that's not good." Well, here's where it gets really scary. If you take all of the residential real estate in Nevada and the current market value of all of it, it's 105 billion dollars. So we have 105 billion dollars worth of um, real estate in Nevada. The total value of the loans is 125 billion dollars. What that means is that um, our loan to uh, debt to um, loan to equity ratio is bad. It, it, when I look at these numbers, most states are at like 60, 70 percent, which is not good, you okay? Because you have to figure, what about all the people that have paid off? They're, they're, they own their house free and clear. There's a lot of people who have just owned their home, okay? So even with those people, they still can't overcome the fact that some people are ridiculously underwater. A good example is we have houses here in Vegas that people paid 300000 for. They're now worth 100000 So they're two times more than what they owe over the amount. So that's where the numbers come from. So what does that mean for, for you? Well, what that means for you is that, um, that there, there is an opportunity. And here's the opportunity. That has created, the two things have created that. The first thing that's created that is the foreclosures and the sh short sales. Second thing is the anticipation of that has just driven prices into the dirt. Under 150 grand, rock bottom prices, you know, a third, as much as a fifth or sixth of what you could have bought that property for, you can buy it today. So that's sort of the opportunity in the market. Um, is this going away anytime soon? I don't know. I mean, if even if only half of those 400,000 homes gets foreclosed, uh, you know, that's still 200,000 properties. That's just like... Um, months. Somebody had uh, given me a statistic that if there were no new foreclosures, and um, this was a title wrap, if there are no new foreclosures, we have 42 months left of the norm, the current volume of, of flow of REO properties into the marketplace. So, wanted to give you those numbers. I thought they were really super interesting, especially the ratios, having 68.1% of all people um, being upside down in the mortgage. That's a little bit scary. So, anyway. Uh, that's my update for today, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks.